7.41, six-point lead for Gold Lake. Just getting underway here in the last quarter of play. Traveling now on the left side to Olinger. Olinger in the high post to Dooley. Dooley's shot is up in the air and he's fouled by Boucher. Mike Boucher picks up his first personal foul. To the line will be Harry Dooley shooting two. Dooley for Caledonia, aims the first of two, it's in the air, and it's no good, off the front of the rim. He's getting two shots, though, as he was fouled in the act of shooting. He aims the second charity toss, it's the up and in. So he picks up one out of two, makes the score, 47-42. Inbounds to George Harris. Harris now begins his dribble, feeds it back to Mike Gilfallon. Gilfallon fires it ahead to Shanta. Shanta had a man all alone underneath, couldn't find him, so he brings it back out and sets up the offensive action. George Harris gets the ball. Over now to Gil Fallon. Gil Fallon to Boucher. Boucher sets himself. It's long. No good. Goes out of bounds. And a jump ball be called. There's the jump ball and a whistle on the jump. And evidently one of the Gull Lake Blue Devils had his foot in the jump circle during that time. So they set up on defense and await the Caledonia attack on offense. Ahead now is Trathen, sets himself for a 17-footer, it's good, 47-44, three-point lead once again, as Boucher now gets it over to Harris, Harris quickly ahead, to Miguel Fallon, all alone underneath his shanty, he misses the layup, and it's taken out of there by Sinclair, Sinclair now gets it off to Trathen, Trathen now, ahead to Hodges, Hodges, back to Trathen, Trathen fires again from 18 feet, it's up, no good, rebound to Sinclair, it's short, and a jump ball on the rebound between Guy Shanta and Harry Dooley. Well done, Golick had a nice opportunity underneath there on that fast break. But they missed the layup. Here's the jump ball in the Caledonia circles down to Trathen. Slips away from him and the referee's whistle blows. And the foul is on Harris. George Harris of Golick called for a personal foul. That is his third and now Four men for Gull Lake have three personal fouls, Bauer, Harris, McKean, and Shanta. All playing with three personals, and Dennis Trathen has three personals for Caledonia. Trathen puts it in the air, it's good, he'll get a bonus. 47-45, two points separate these two teams. As Trathen can cut it to one if he can connect on his bonus shot. It's in the air and it is good. 47-46. Gil Fallon now gets it into Boucher. Boucher now looks around, can't do anything with it. Still in the backcourt is Harris. Harris fires it ahead to McKean. McKean drives on his man, he's headed off. Double teamed in there, back out to Boucher. Boucher to Harris. Harris goes up with a shot and he is fouled in there. Jump ball. Jump ball between Chuck Hodges. And number 35, George Harris of Gauley. There's the top, controlled by the Caledonia Scotties. Ahead to Hodges, to Trothen. 47-46, Caledonia trails by a point. They have the ball in their forecourt. Dooley fires off balance, off the top of the bank court. No good. George Harris has the rebound. Harris now is fouled by Olinger. Olinger called for his second. To the line will go George Harris. Harris tonight has hit on one out of two from the free throw line, plus five field goals for his 13 points. He's shooting one and one now, and these are all important in this final quarter. It's up and good. George Harris connects, makes it 48-46, and he'll try to increase the goal leg margin now by another point. Harris's free throw is in the air. It is good. Hit the front of the rim, bounced off the bank board, and down through. 49-46, a three-point lead now for Caledonia, or for Gull Lake as Caledonia tries to make up that deficit. Trathen now on the baseline to Dooley. Dooley goes up with a shot. It is no good, and the rebound comes down to Nick McKean. McKean now with the ball for Gull Lake, and it's called for a double dribble. Double dribble called on McKean, and Coach Timmer wants timeout for Caledonia. 